guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jazz and Nitto and I'm super excited about today's video because it is an empties video. They're one of my favorites to film and to watch actually. So I am doing my no by year in 2019 so it's the end of January so we're going to be doing empties for the month of January obviously so towards the end of the video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much I spent and how much I used up. The spending I'm not too happy with. Um, I did kind of go a little crazy this month. It's kind of hard when you're used to just shopping and buying whatever you'd like to not doing any shopping. Um, I paid for like gas, groceries, birthday presents and I did buy some clothing and a couple skincare items because I ran now but I just think that I can do way better in the spending area so hopefully in February I'll do way much better so without further ado let's jump right into the video so I'm gonna save all the numbers how much I spent and how much I used up to the end of the video but I'm gonna be starting off with my project pan items if you guys didn't know I do seasonal project pans right now we're in winter obviously so I have a few items that I actually finished for this project and I did add them to the total of the things that I used up so the first one I was able to use up is this Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. This is a super soft body scrub. It's two ounces. This smells absolutely delicious. I love Winter Candy Apple. I actually did not like it at first, but I fell in love with it. So you'll probably be seeing this in my halfway update for my Winter Project Pan, but I did add this into my empties. Also, I completed the DIY Coconut Oil sugar scrub so i actually made this a couple christmases ago and i only used it a handful of times so i didn't like the way it smells because i added peppermint oil to it but i think the smell went a little off so i actually used this scrub on my feet so it was very effective and useful i also finished up not too long ago a wet and wild coverall liquid concealer this was not my favorite concealer i'll probably talk more about it in my project pan update but i also finished this up as well next i finished up this little baby this is an eyebrow pencil from Ellen Tracy and I used this completely up it was probably about this big and now it's this little nub I can't sharpen it anymore and I actually really enjoyed using this and last but not least for my project pan items I have a covergirl clean matte foundation here's what it looks like I have a line right here on where I started and I used the entire thing up during um, January and I actually liked this foundation it just wasn't my shade I had to mix it in with other foundations but I made it work for me so this month I finished up two bubble baths the first one is actually from the dollar store this is the kids foaming bubble bath in watermelon I absolutely loved this and I love the bright packaging on this too definitely fun for kids love the way it smells highly recommend definitely made all the bubbles in the bath and I just love taking baths. Next bubble bath I have here is from Equate, which is the Walmart brand. This is the lavender foaming bath. I love lavender in the bathtub because it's so calming and soothing. And honestly, it smells really good. So I finished up these two bubble baths in January. And I definitely don't need to repurchase any bubble bath anytime soon. I probably have three backups already in my collection. So bubble bath was not something that I purchased this month. So I have a bunch of random items that really don't belong in any category. Category. So I have one hair item. This is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Styling Gel. Gel is not a necessity for me. I just always tend to have it for some reason. When I scrunch my hair, I use gel, but I use mousse more than I use gel. So my mom actually gave me a bottle of this, um, so I didn't have to purchase any. But honestly, I think after I use that bottle up, I don't think I need to purchase because it's not a necessity for me. Next, I have a deodorant here. This is the Speed Stick Power of Nature Avalanche Deodorant. This is men's deodorant. It smells great, works great. I actually got this at the dollar store. Um, it is a little travel size, so it's perfect to go anywhere if you needed that. Next here, I just have an empty box. This is the Dial Soap. It comes in a two-pack at the dollar store, and I think it's lavender and jasmine scented. I use this to wash my sponges and brushes. Next, I have a CVS Health Multi-Purpose Solution. This is just contact solution i wear contacts every day this comes in handy i kind of need it also something that i kind of need this is the crest pro health advanced toothpaste i brush my teeth every day and i used up a toothpaste i also have this little baby here this is the bath and body works exotic coconut shower gel this is just a little travel size but it smells so good it smells like like straight coconuts honestly I love it it was such a clean scent for the shower and I don't have any more of these but I have a lot of shower gel that I need to get through so I definitely don't need to repurchase this anytime soon 
And last but not least, for random bits, I have this empty sleeve. This is the cotton rounds. There's 80 in here, and this is from the dollar store. Why would I spend more than a dollar for something? Um, and they work just fine. Absolutely love them. I use probably two of these a day. So all I have left is skincare and makeup. I'm going to start with the makeup. So I have here the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Here's what that looks like. Completely used up. It's just a white powder, but it goes on translucent. Definitely perfect for touching up, but not to set all over the face if you have oily skin. Next here, I have a primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Smooth. This one was just all right. I mean, I was halfway done with it, so I just kept on pushing and pushing myself to use this up. Definitely wouldn't repurchase um, in the future. And I have a bunch of primers that I need to go through first before I can buy another primer. But this one is definitely not the one I'll be picking up. And last but not least for makeup, I have a mascara. This is the NYX Pin Up Tease Mascara. And this one is actually good for six months. I know most mascara is good for three months this one lasted me six months honestly it was okay but not my favorite it's not waterproof but it goes on like waterproof makeup like I can't take it off unless I use like a serious oil and wash my face and still there's residue left over like this stays on your lashes so if you like mascara like that I highly recommend this all right so jumping into some skincare I have two face masks that I used up this first one here is the clinical works face mask just a basic one very moisturizing and hydrating and and I also have this Rich Radiance Cocoa and Shea Butter Treatment Mask. Another sheet mask. I think I got this at the dollar store. It was pretty good. I also have a pack of wipes here. This is the Equate Beauty, which is the Walmart brand makeup remover wipes. I use these to take off my first layer of makeup, like my foundation. Um, and then it makes everything easier. I'll go in with the oil, wash my face. So I use about one of these a day. And I absolutely love the Equate brand. Next here, I have a favorite. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with aloe chamomile and lavender this is the purple one which is my favorite one i have a big bottle of this that's like half used up so i'm trying to like save it because i have other facial sprays they're just not my favorite but this is my favorite i took this to pennsylvania with me when we went for thanksgiving and i absolutely love this i will drench my entire face in this Next, I have a toner, which is what I use, those cotton rounds I showed you guys before. I'll put this toner on the cotton rounds and I'll rub it all over my face. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water. I got this at Ross. And last but not least for skincare, I have the Equate Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I actually don't use this on my eyes. I use this to spot clean my brushes. Um, so this always comes in handy. And this is definitely one thing that I ran out of and I had to go out and repurchase right away. So like I said before, this is my no buy year 2019. So I'm not going to be buying any skincare or makeup unless I need to. I just have so much in my collection and I want to curate it to everything that I love. So once everything is gone through my collection, I'll only be purchasing things that I truly love which is why I'm doing my no buy year so actually the only thing that I had to go out and purchase regarding skincare and makeup was the eye makeup remover that I just finished showing you guys I absolutely need that I spot clean my brushes like I said every time after I do my makeup but everything else was kind of things that I probably shouldn't be spending my money on so for example I did go out and I went to Old Navy and I bought clothing um, I do a lot of baking so I had to buy a lot of like baking utilities so like bags to put the treats in or like a cake spinner whatever it may be I have a couple baked good items in here um and then I also had to pay for gas groceries food whatever it may be so the total that I spent for January is $202 which kind of seems like a lot for me some people are like I spend $202 every time I go grocery shopping but like to me it's kind of a lot of money considering I'm trying to be wise with my spending but it happened I know February I'm gonna be doing so much better I just have a feeling um because 202 dollars in one month like I think that's absolutely crazy but the items that I just showed you the items that I used up it totaled out to 99 dollars so almost a hundred dollars I'm pretty glad in that area I'm pretty surprised myself that I spent a hundred dollars on everything I just showed you and I was able to use it up so that makes me feel better but hopefully in February I'll be able to do better in the spending area and also do better in the products that I use up hopefully that number can be higher 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you love empties just as much as I do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are doing a no by year yourself, definitely mention that in the comments down below. I know I've seen a few YouTubers mentioning that 2019 was their no by year as well. So I know I'm not the only one doing it this year. And hopefully I'm not the only one struggling. Like $202 in one month. Jasmine, get your life together. <laughs> um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'm doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. If you guys haven't seen that video, already it's my last posted video so you can go watch that one to learn how to enter and my instagram is always listed down below for you guys and i hope you guys have a great day Psh!